Welcome to this video. I want to go over um, a question that a viewer has had about managing errors in FreeCAD. I wasn't sure exactly what the question was pointed at, but uh, this is what came to mind when I read through it. Uh, and let's see, we'll get back to this model. Uh, first, let's go through some uh, garden variety sketching errors that you might come up with. Uh, I'm going to go with polyline here. And before I forget, let me get my keyboard monitor down here. So if I use hotkeys, just look down here and you can see my mouse clicks and the keys that I use. I'm going to start by manually creating a rectangle. And now you'll notice I have a constraint here that says I need to be coincident to this axis, right? So this line is coincident to this line and merged or coincident to the origin, depending on what platform you use, the word will differ. So this line will always be vertical. Now if I select this line and hit V for vertical, you'll notice I get sketch contains redundant constraints. This is an error in FreeCAD. Uh, this is not valid. And uh, the easiest way to do that is to uh, say, please remove the following redundant constraint number 10. So you go down to constraint 10, and you can delete. Uh, so you, you don't want to have multiple things that tell the sketch the same thing, if that makes sense. You don't want to have this coincident, which constrains the line to be vertical, and a vertical, which constrains the line to be vertical. That's redundant. That's no good. Um, and uh, so anytime you're in a sketch and you tell the sketch to do the same thing multiple times, that's wrong. Now, you can say auto remove redundance and auto update and I have those two things checked when I sketch all the time when I go to add a vertical notice it automatically takes the vertical away same here if I try to add a vertical it tells me it already has a vertical constraint or if I put a horizontal here you know it does not let me put redundant constraints down very very handy uh, wonderful feature and I recommend having those two boxes checked all the time Sometimes you may come across a genuine error. Uh, okay, coming back to this model, um, I will just choose a face here and create a sketch. And sketching on this face, I can import some geometry. Let's say I want to retrace this arc. I can choose a center point arc and here to here to here. And you'll notice um, I put this on three defined points, but it's telling me I have a degree of freedom. I click on a degree of freedom, nothing happens. Um, and it's like I try to click either point and drag, but I can't seem to find or drag any point that defines this arc into having or showing me a degree of freedom in any way, right? So this seems to me to be some sort of problem I have with sketching a center point arc on three uh, defined points. If you come across an error like this, in my experience it's been very rare, but and this is the only one in fact that I can repeat, uh, but if this ever happens, um, I simply do a simple workaround by constraining the same sketch in a different way, right? So I, instead of a, a three point arc by its center, I choose a rim point arc and I can say equal and I have a fully defined arc that's defined in the exact same way as if I had used a center point arc. So I've never been able to not solve any kind of problem I've had in FreeCAD by simply using a different way of constraining. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.